Hey dressage hub fans! Now at the end of the last video I did talking about some rumors that are flying in the horse world, I said it probably wouldn't be too long before Mark Bellissimo and friends were in touch with dressage hub and today alas probably a little slower than I would have expected they were in touch so there's a little letter here uh, from polo lawyer at aol.com and first of all friends if your lawyer is using an AOL address as their business email address, pro tip, find a new lawyer. I didn't even know AOL was a thing until I looked at, still a thing, until I looked at this email address and I was like, is this even a real lawyer? Like that, I had to actually Google to make sure that this letter was not a fake because of the email address and its ridiculousness. Anyway, so here is the letter. We're going to talk about it a little bit because I want to share with you what is being said. They, at the start of this letter, they make some quotes about what I've said. They didn't really like the video. Who knew they wouldn't? And honestly, I feel like even if the rumors were true, they couldn't say anyway. So I don't really understand what this whole debacle is. Like, um, are we going to go chasing around the internet for anybody and everybody who actually puts a rumor on the internet? Because Here's a good one about Mark Bellissimo that somebody sent me from Horse Show Diva. Uh, it talks about some information between him and his wife and what's going on there and all sorts of far more outrageous rumors and allegations than I ever made in this video. So I feel like this could be a full-time job for this lawyer <laughs> just to go around the internet and like chase rumors in the horse world. Uh, this letter is actually a cease and desist. I know that in the horse world there's rumors that I get a lot of these or I've had a lot of these. This is officially the first cease and desist we've gotten here at Dressage Hub. So I want to share it with you. because So uh, in this letter they state that as a responsible journalist I have a professional and legal obligation to fact check. Now that would be true if I was a professional journalist. However. Uh, Mark Bellissimo and friends have made it very clear that they don't think I'm a responsible or professional journalist by simply not allowing me to have media credentials at their venues. So uh, I think we've already covered that. Now um, what they're used to is uh, you know, being able to issue media credentials and therefore control the media, which is what they're trying to do here. To carry on, uh, he says, on Facebook writing, this is a face profile. So on the video, I don't know how many of you saw it, there's a uh, Mark Bellissimo comment saying, take this video down. Now, it is unverified as it is uh, Mark Bellissimo, and it starts off by saying, this is Mark Bellissimo. And who types like that on the internet to verify their identity when your URL name is already Mark Bellissimo? Anyway, I didn't believe that, and I still don't believe that it was Mark Bellissimo. Maybe one of his people, but I don't think it was Mark Bellissimo. Because Mark Bellissimo has the power to pick up the phone and say, hey, my lawyer, can you send uh, her a letter? Which is what they did. That's a Mark Bellissimo move. When you're a big, powerful man, you don't go on YouTube pretending to care about what I, as a little YouTuber, am posting on the internet. So then they carry on on this letter to say, did you bother to pick up the phone and call him? Yes. Mark Bellissimo on a Sunday night is going to answer calls from me. Yeah. Okay, good one. So that's fine. Mark Bellissimo is not going to call me, but instead of maybe posting as Mark Bellissimo or being Mark Bellissimo, uh, posting on my YouTube videos telling me to take the video down, Mark has my phone number. Why didn't Mark call me? Just saying. Phone works two ways here, Mr. Craig, whatever your name is at AOL. Uh, yeah, pull a lawyer at ALL. Craig Gal. Uh, yeah, I, I just can't even right now. This video, or this letter carries on to say they want the video removed from Facebook, you and YouTube and my website. Clearly, they don't understand that I'm on eight other social media outlets as well, including Tumblr, Instagram. You guys can find the links below in this video. Snapchat, make sure you follow us on all of those. Uh, yeah, little shout out for dressage up there. Uh, whoops, did I just do that? Uh, so it says on here, it carries on, it says the false statements could cause harm to Mark Bellissimo and friends, AKA WAG, WEF, whatever global you want to call it. Uh, but you mean like false statements, like the 
40 some off of pages on Chronicle of the Horse talking about me, my life, my mental health, uh, all of those things that remain up there. So you're saying that when somebody posts crap about you on a social media outlet that may or may not be true, it can do harm. Is that what you're saying, Craig? Because I'm not really sure, but I feel like Mark Bellissimo's Chronicle of the Horse website has some pretty interesting information about me. And so when you're, you know, done getting a real email address, maybe you should go over there and spend a few hours reading because it will take you a few hours to read everything about Dressage Hub over there. And I, I can assure you of that. So um, here is my official retraction. WEF and Global were not allegedly rumored to be unofficially unable to prove to be for sale or sold. That cover it? Uh, in addition to this letter, we've had a few other interesting things happen over the course of the week, or the, I guess the two days, it hasn't even been 48 hours yet, that I want to touch base on. Dean Turney, the political lobbyist for uh, Mark Bellissimo, has chimed in, uh, threatening to ban me from all of the Wellington properties. Too late, Dean. That's already been done. Mar uh, Thomas Bauer already stole your thunder. Take it up with him. Uh, the Connor Financial Group, it's a Raymond James uh, financial investment firm. They chimed in and told me I was a horrible person, the video needed to come down, whatever. Now you tell me why a financial investment firm in Wellington needs me to pull my video down. Why do they care? It was an old dude. I don't think he's a dressage up fan. Kristen Kopp, she is a realtor for uh, Equestrian Sotheby's. Uh, in Wellington as well. She used to be a news anchor. Sure, surely she knows a little bit about like breaking early news, some of the risks you take. Uh, I guess uh, she's missing all of that now that she's just a trophy wife. I guess. Uh, anyway, um, I'm happy to take the video down mostly because at the end of the day, when this is all done, all I need is 48 hours. Every YouTuber knows that the first 48 hours is your window. I have almost finished the window. I'm a few hours away as I film this for you of the 48 hour window and I'm good. I'm happy to take this video down. Uh, I've issued my retraction. I've complied with everything you put in your uh, letter. Thank you, Craig at pololawyer at AOL dot com. Uh, you, seriously, I can help you. I, I can help you get uh, an email address. They're ten dollars a month hosted. Really, I, I I do it for free. I wouldn't even charge you like lawyer minutes. I really, I'm offering for your sake and your client's sake and for the fact that you can write a letter and actually look professional. Uh, oh wait, speaking of professional. Anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, more drama to come. The season is just getting started in the official press release by uh, Mark Bellissimo this afternoon. It says season starts in the Jumperland at the end of November, so we're less than a month away. I am looking forward to, as you know, last year was an exciting season for drama. I'm looking forward to covering all of it uh, for you, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. We are here to stay, and we are coming back hot.